Little Llama Pothica, and today I wanted to make an awesome cranberry recipe that my mom taught me how to make with agar agar seaweed, which is more nutrient intense than store bought gelatin. So there we go, we're making cranberry sauce with seaweed today. Yay! The cranberries are pretty nutrient dense, but they're also very tasty. Yum, yum. So it's a pretty simple recipe. We just need eight ounces of cranberries. These I have two eight ounce bags. One orange, which you can use the zest from, and the juice from it as well in here. Also either honey or uh, maple syrup, whichever you like. Apple juice, I'm gonna use pear juice. It's an experiment, we'll see what happens. I switched sides. All right, so what we're gonna do is put the cranberries in the pot. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna cook them with the one cup of applesauce, um, which I'm gonna use pear sauce. Actually, my mother used apple cider, which has spices in it, so it'll be a little more yummy. And we're gonna put a little bit of cloves in it at the end, which is pretty yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna use pear juice, which sounds exciting to me. We're gonna put a cup of it in, and you wanna bring it all the way to a boil. Oh, that was half a cup. Put a cup in, <laughs> and you're gonna let that boil until or to heat up and boil. You want it to boil so that the cranberries pop. So once it gets boiling, if there's if a lot of them aren't as popped, if a lot of the cranberries are still not popped, then you're gonna go in there and fork them. Yeah. And let this heat up. That's not the cover for that pot. What? And then, while I'm letting that heat up, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of agar agar. This is from Eden Sea Vegetable Flakes. Agar agar. Uh, it says, AKA Canton is a beneficial vegetable gelatin made of two kinds of sea vegetables with strong thickening properties. The seaweeds are boiled to a gel, pressed, dried, and shaken into flakes. Perfect for desserts, pie fillings, baked and goods, fillings, puddings, parfaits, fruit or vegetables, aspic, and more. The flakes dissolve in hot liquids, which thickens as they cool. Eden sea, sea vegetables contains an array of trace minerals and cleansing phytonutrients that are non-common in land-sourced vegetables. So I remember my mother used to make a large amount of this, so we'd have it for a week. You just go in the fridge, have your yummy treat. Um, and I'm gonna make it with honey, so it takes about half an hour when it's all said and done. And then we're gonna let it chill in the refrigerator. So it won't be as thick as it will be once we have it in the fridge. So I'm making this a few days before our actual event. It's gonna be the, all the rave. And I think it's the orange that really makes it so yummy. Okay, so we're gonna get back to you. Well, this, is, this has been heating for a little while. I'm just gonna put the agar agar in right now with it. Recipe is got two tablespoons agar agar. It's like a weird flake. It's like a, oh, I already hear one popping. Isn't that neat? That was pretty quick. See, it's like a weird flaky business. Um, and it's pretty tasteless, but it's so nutrient. So two tablespoons, and that's gonna absorb. So I'm gonna stir this and. Uh, Get back to you on the next event. Oh, they're popping. This is exciting. Okay, I stirred that up. It's heating in here. It's on high, so I could probably turn it down a little bit because you don't want all the moisture to evaporate while it heats up and pops all the cranberries. So agar agar is in there, the two tablespoons. Pear juice. You could use apple cider vinegar. Apple cider. Apple cider. Not apple cider vinegar. Apple cider. So it's apple juice with spices. Now, the thing is, if it needs more thickening than just those two tablespoons of agar, agar, you could put some more in, or 
Well, my, way, my mom would use is Kudzu Root Start, also from Eden Organics. Uh, Kudzu Organic Root Starch is a versatile superior thickener that doesn't separate after cooking like others. Great for sauces, pies, filling, gravy, desserts, and soups. Kudzu is a long-valued health food for soothing the stomach and strengthening the intestines. I know this, I use it a lot for, my father used this, um, was recommended this with, uh, or to help his stomach and to help his body with toxins associated with chemotherapy. Kudzu, it has a lot of different, strengthens the, it soothes the stomach and strengthens the intestines, among other things. So, I'm going to, so for, to, for, to prepare this, for each cup of liquid, dissolve one tablespoon kudzu in two tablespoons cold liquid for thickening the dessert. So just in case, I'm going to, it comes in like these chunks, uh, so this takes a while to dissolve. So just in case we need this to thicken, which I, we do, I've never not used needed it for this um, nutrition dessert for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to do it now, and you need cold water so it dissolves. So I'm just going to put it in my little cup here. One tablespoon kudzu and two tablespoons cold liquid. All right, here goes. Two. It's a lot, so I'm gonna break it up in the. Right, I'm gonna put it put it dry in here. So one tablespoon. Yeah, see, it's very. It's like. It's like little rocks of chalk. All right, so I'm gonna mash this up and just in case for later. And now this is still. Check it out. Ooh, it's boiling. It's just been a few minutes. And these are really popping. This is great. They're pretty much popped. This is this is really fast. All right, so yeah, my mom said it takes about half an hour, so better get going. <laughs> All right, so after it's boiling, I'm going to turn it down. And they're pretty much popped, which it seems like they are. Okay, so this is boiling away, and I just put my... Two tablespoons. Oh, it's actually dissolving pretty well. Maybe the kudzu I had in the past was old or something because this is dissolved. That was easy. Fascinating. Okay, so this is for if we need thickening for later. This is going at it. I'm going to put in the zest. Look at that. That's a lot. That's the zest from one orange. That's it. And then the honey, oh my God, that's a lot of zest. All right, so maybe it's gonna be a little better. Orange is varying size. Oops. Okay, so one cup of honey, this is 10 ounces. So you could do a little less. I'm just gonna do half of this. This is 10 ounces and a cup is eight ounces. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Honey sweeter than maple syrup, which is what the origin the recipe called for originally. So I put about three fourths of this. Maybe I'll do just a little bit more, and then you can add more to taste later. So this has cooled it down a bit. Oh, I turned it down, and I'm gonna add the orange juice from one, from that same orange. And I'm gonna heat this up. It looks pretty good. Let's see, let me that. See? Oh, I don't wanna pour it, but it's... <laughs> it's chunky. It's very chunky dessert. So I'm gonna stir that for a little bit. And... Afterwards, I'm gonna add just a, like a little bit of clove. I, since I don't have, you want a teeny, teeniest, tiny bit, like a fingernail, less than a fingernail of, of clove. I'm just gonna dip like a fork point into my uh, my clove oil. And just, it says a teeny tiny, you don't, cause the clove can really overpower the flavor. You don't want that, that would suck and everything. So I'm just gonna, let's see. Like 
Okay, I just dipped my fork and I stir it in. And especially since I didn't put, I'm gonna put a dash of cinnamon in it, since I didn't use apple cider, which has cloves and cinnamon in it, I just used pear juice. It's looking good though, it's thickening. And then once this is, I may not even need the kudzu. So I'm just let the, oh yeah, that was enough, that was, that was enough clove. That's, you want to be mindful not to put too much clove in. Cool. That's pretty quick. That's way quicker than I thought. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of kudzu. It's like a milky. I can't believe that all dissolves so easily. So I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon of that. Stir that in. Oh yeah, this is good. It does not, the orange zest isn't too much. That's perfect. Man, I'm tempted to put a little more clove in. To clove or not to clove? A small, ah! Okay. All right. I'm gonna show you now. See, it's boiling, and then I'm going to I'm gonna just put that into the fridge after it cools into a little mold. Yeah, people are smelling it. It's gonna be good. So thank you if you liked that video. You can thumbs up and subscribe, and let me know if you want any other kinds of videos or if you have any ideas. That'd be great. Happy Thanksgiving! Bye!